I know that the microbiome is important mm -hmm. when we think about creating health because that, like many of the cells in the body, the cells in our uh, intestines outnumber, by some people's estimations, the number of cells in the body, and that they are actually part of this influence. Mm -hmm. They are nutrient driven, but they are also stress driven. They are also lifestyle driven. The health of yes. our microbiome has a great deal to do with the health of our habits. No question. No question. They say so goes the gut, so goes the mind. Think about what a mood or an emotional state is, right? What really is a mood? What is an emotional state? It's a collection of neurotransmitters, right? So serotonin, which is the main driver of mood and required for every elevated emotional state, passion, elation, joy, arousal, libido, all of the exciting emotions. Serotonin is made in the gut. 90% of our serotonin resides here before it travels up the vagus nerve to the brain. So if I don't have serotonin here, I can't have it here. So my mood, my emotional state is created in my gut. It's experienced in the brain, but it's born in the gut. And the same thing is true for our behaviors, right? Dopamine, the main driver of behavior. We, we used to have a saying in mortality space that the absence of dopamine was the presence of addiction, right? Low levels of this neurotransmitter are commonly associated with addictive behaviors. Dopamine is also manufactured in the gut. So again, if I don't have it here, I can't have it here. So the importance of the gut-brain connection is now really being thoroughly understood and it really cannot be overemphasized. The more we nutrify the gut and have the healthier our gut biome is, then the healthier our emotional state and our mood is gonna be.